These are the instructions for setting up a session in Bluebeam. So I'm within Bluebeam. We're going to go to Studio. And we're going to go make sure that you are on sessions, not on projects. I'm going to go ahead. Mine was on a session. I'm going to leave that so I can see all my sessions that I'm in. We're going to do this plus sign for add. And I'm going to start a new session. And this is going to do the pop-up window. I'm going to name my session. And in general, we're going to name the session the same name that you name the job. Um, if you're creating the session for something other than a job, like for a Kaizen, then have it be the name of the Kaizen. So in this case, we're going to go with hard review. Don't need to add any files at this time, but we do need to change some permissions. We want to be able to add documents and we want to remove restrict attendees. This is going to allow anyone to join the session if they have the session ID. And we'll go ahead, click OK. Now, I do need to go back in here once this session pops up on my list. Give it a moment. OK, now we've got my Harbor View session. Within that session, if I, now it's going to prompt me if I want to invite anyone. Let's not invite anyone just yet. If I click on the session here, we go to settings. We're going to go into permissions and change full control to allow. This is going to allow anyone that has, is in our session to have access to be able to make changes, delete things, change the name of the session. For example, if we get the job, add the job number to it, everyone has full control. Now, if I want to invite people, you can click right here. Rather than actually inviting through here, if I do copy invitation, this is going to make it that if I send an email out, I will have the information to be able to put on it. So for example, if I paste what I just copied, it gives the session ID and the URL for anyone to be able to join. And now I can send this out to members of my team. And that's how we start a Bluebeam session.